It's your folk song about my hometown. 8.13, Trump Road to see. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Well, if you ever have to go to Shubrinis, oh. it's down here. Take the A road, the OK road, that's the best. Yeah. Go motoring on the A13. Uh, we're down here with uh, a load of our friends from yeah, Young Fabians yeah. out here to campaign for Hate Not Hate today. We are delivering um, uh, leaflets, we'll no doubt be talking to people on the street. And it looks like it's going to be a really good day to go out and uh, make the case against fascism. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. Sun's out, <laughs> with loads of friends, what more could you want? Fast and it won't be, air ain't a stopping, bypass parking and straight through Dagenham down to Christ's Morrock. It's, it's brilliant. We thought, you know, we were really keen to get, you know, a few hundred down, but this is just kind of unprecedented, the number of people. Sure. It's just so fantastic to see, it really, really is, just for the people of Barking and Dagenham, that we can get this many people down who, you know, don't want the BMP around here. So I'm going to keep on those. Thank you. How many flight of stairs are there up here? Ten flights, maybe? There were people all the way up them. All the way up the stairs. It was just brilliant. I'm going to get the old uh, guitar out, sing a couple of songs for me supper. Not that I'm going to get any supper, but it's all right. I'm going around my mum's for a spaghetti. Fantastic. Uh, I'm along with uh, colleagues from Unite the Union. We've got about 30, 40 people. We came, we just did Gorsbrook Wards, and it's fantastic to have all these people fighting fascism, fighting racism. It's great. Um, I've never had a day like it, actually. You know, we, were, we, we knew it was going to be big, but we were nervous about how big it was going to be. Um, it's gone way beyond our kind of wildest expectations. We wanted to have 400 people come down. 530 people have signed in and delivered newspapers. Not only have we had the newspaper delivered to every single household in the borough, we've actually started to do a bit of havering just for the sake of, you know, spreading the word there because they have got BNP councillors standing in havering. In the National Union Teachers, we're using our political fund to say to people, don't vote for the BNP in this general election. And the reason we're saying that is because we genuinely think the BNP doesn't represent British people and would be appalling if we actually had more BNP people elected. The atmosphere is brilliant. Everyone is buzzing. Everyone is like, come on, what else can we do, you know? I was really surprised. Um, I didn't really know that many people here at all, and it was fantastic. I mean, just to see families coming out all together and kids coming out, and everyone has just had a really good day, and people have come from all over the country to, to be here today, so it's just absolutely fantastic. We came over from Tooting today. We've come over from Camberwell, so it's a pretty long journey today. Basically just because we don't want to see the BNP gain any power, any more power anywhere. I think we just wanted to do something. I think it's really important to um, educate your kids as well about um, things that are going on and like, uh, well, just about politics in general really. And I think that it's good that I'm allowed to get involved and this can help make our country better. Well, yeah. It seemed like this was a crucial area and that's why we wanted to come and help. And people have seen us out in our hundreds, literally, with our hope and hate bags over our T-shirts and thought, OK, this is quite a big campaign, even if I'm not involved, I want to know what that's about. Let me read that paper. I'm a student and it's the first time I've ever been involved with leafleting for Hope Not Hate. Um, it's been a really nice day. Um, I really enjoyed it, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, it's nice to get involved with something you can really make a difference on. It's been a brilliant day. It's nice to see a lot of the young faces here because um, uh, you can see they're keen and, and they probably want to do a lot more of this, but you know, they've taken the opportunity to come out. It's a beautiful day. They've enjoyed themselves and uh, lots of good food, good entertainment. But more importantly, we we did the job with all the uh, newsletters and to actually front up Mr. Bar Bram Brucco, where his name is up the top of the road there, is excellent. That was a brilliant uh, uh, stand-up confrontation. Excellent. It's been an absolute fantastic success. 540 people, we got out over 90,000 papers. And to be honest, we could have done a lot more. People were up for doing a lot more this afternoon, but we just ran out of stuff to give them. Save the A road, the OK road, that's the best. Go motoring on the A machine. Go motoring on the A machine. Go motoring on the A Infused people. There was a really good atmosphere. It was a lovely, lovely sunny day. People enjoyed the lunch. People enjoyed Billy Bragg, 
And I think, you know, for our next event, which is Eddie Izzard campaigning on Monday, May the 3rd, we're going to have a huge turnout again. Because I think, you know, the word will go around that this, this was a fantastic day. You know, but it needs to be done. The BNP could win the council. I mean, that is at risk. You know, it's the biggest threat we've ever faced. We need to respond with the biggest campaign, and we're starting to do that. Fascists are bound to lose. Fascists are bound to lose.